It's 2025, which means it's time to optimize your OBS studio settings for top-notch quality and performance. Let's jump into everything you need to know. First, we will be looking at video settings. This is crucial for your streams and recording. The standard base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080p, so there's no need to adjust it. Now for the output scaled resolution, there's different resolutions that can be done based off your computer hardware. In most cases, you want to keep it at 1920 by 1080, but if you have a strong internet connection and PC, you'll be able to adjust it to 1440p or even 4K. For the downscale filter, we will be sending it to Lansos, which will give you the best quality for your downscaling. Finally, for your FPS, we will be setting it to 60, as this will give your streams that buttery smooth feeling, especially for fast paced content like gaming. Now click apply, and then we're gonna move on to output settings. Now under output settings, we're gonna be looking at things like bitrate and encoding. First, you need to change your mode to advanced, as this will give you more control. For the standard 1080p 60 FPS streams, I recommend setting your bitrate to around 6,000 kilobits per second for a solid stream quality. If you're looking to stream in 1440p or 4k, you will need to stream in a higher bitrate like 9 to 12,000 kilobits per second. The higher your bitrate is, the better quality stream you will have, but that's based off your internet speed. Depending on the parts in your PC, the best encoder to choose is going to be the NVIDIA NVIDIA option. This will put less stress on your CPU, which will help run your PC smooth. If you don't have a GPU, you'll need to stick with X264, which should run your streams just fine. For the key interval, I would just set it to 2, which will ensure an optimal performance. Now under the CPU usage preset, we are going to just leave it at slow. For profile, we're going to set it to high so we can get that crisp quality. Then I would just leave everything else how it is and then click apply. Now let's dive into audio settings. So your streams will have that nice and clear audio quality. For the sample rate, make sure this is set to 48 kilohertz for high quality audio. For channels, I would just leave it as stereo. Now for desktop audio, I would set it to your headphones because you would want to verify what you're hearing is what your audio is also hearing. Finally, for the microphone, just set it to the microphone that you use. If you want to improve your microphone settings, I recommend clicking on the video in the top right corner. Be sure to click apply on your settings before you move on. Finally, we're going to be going to advanced settings. This is optional, but this will give you the best performance for your OBS. For the render, I would use Direct 3D 11 for the best compatibility and performance. Under the color format, I would leave it as MB12 for the best performance. And finally, for the color space, I would recommend setting this to 709. And your color range, I would set it to full for the best color depth. Now click apply and you're good to go. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.